Kiana Perkins, Director of Victim Witness Services Program here in the City of Richmond. National Crime Victims' Rights Week was started in 1981 to increase the public's awareness to the rights and services that are afforded to victims of crime. This year's theme is Engaging Communities and Empowering Victims. Events planned for this week include a Crime Victims Forum that's held tonight at the Richmond Police Academy. Wednesday, we have a rededication ceremony on Capitol Square at 10.30 a.m. And Thursday at 5 p.m., we have an art exhibit that features work created by victims and survivors of crime. That will be at the University of Richmond. This month, we also recognize Sexual Assault Awareness Month. And today's key event, Start By Believing, is a public awareness campaign designed to change the individual response that we have to sexual assault in our communities. The goal is to create an atmosphere where individuals feel comfortable reporting the crime, where they feel supported when they do so. They want to be made aware of services that are available to them. They don't want to be blamed. Most of all, they want to be believed. Today, in the city of Richmond, we have over 30 pledge stations where we would ask individuals to take the pledge that they will start by believing. At the conclusion of the signing of the proclamation, we invite you to come up, visit our resource table, and take the pledge. We have individuals available to take your picture and assist you with doing so. At this time, I would like to introduce Richmond's Commonwealth's attorney, Michael Herring, and following Mr. Herring, we will hear from Maryville Weir, who is the Director of Programs and Community Outreach with the Attorney General's Office. Thank you, Kiana, and welcome to all of you. It's really nice to see you here today. You know, I'm sitting here listening to Kiana's comments, and it strikes me just how uh, encouraging it is that nationwide there's a movement underway to acknowledge the tragedy and the impact of sexual assault. I've never been the victim of sexual assault, thank goodness, but I've certainly prosecuted countless cases involving it and even defended persons accused of it. So I have a unique enough perspective to say that it's not easy to investigate and prosecute these cases and it's even more difficult to come forward as a victim. Start by believing means lots of things to different people. And so rather than insult you by imposing my interpretation of the phrasing, I'll tell you what it means to me. Quite simply, it means don't judge. It means listen to a person when they take the bold step to come forward and describe something as tragic as sexual assault that has happened to them. And importantly for us, don't judge. And so I hope you encourage your friends and colleagues to go out and visit some of the various sites that we have around the city. We have wonderful ladies uh, from my office here flanking us this morning. There are exhibits over at the courthouse. It's a beautiful day. Uh, it's an important cause. It is a tragic cause, uh, but it's certainly one that deserves our attention and our resources. So thank you again, and I look forward to hearing from Mary. Good morning, everyone. It's really great to be here with so many advocates on behalf of victims. I feel like it's old home week, so it's good to see you all. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Commonwealth Attorney, on behalf of Attorney General Mark Herring, I thank you for your kind invitation to this important event. Within my area of responsibility in the Attorney General's office lies all of the victim serving programs in the office of the Attorney General. This morning, I'm privileged to bring with me staff from the Attorney General's office that work with and be on behalf of victims, and several of these individuals also staff the Governor's Task Force on Combating Campus Sexual Violence. All of us intend to take the pledge to start by believing. So can y'all wave so everybody can, yay. They do a great job. Through his work as chair of the Campus Sexual Violence Task Force, his time in the legislature and his role as a father, Attorney General Herring embraces the significance of this campaign. He got all his materials ready before leaving Richmond. He actually got them ready on Friday and got his picture taken, but we wanted to be in solidarity with the city, so we waited for today in order to 
do our pledges and to um, tweet out our messages to start by believing. So today we'll start pledging and you'll see our social media with the hashtag RVA Believes. According to the Attorney General, every survivor in Virginia must know that if you report sexual violence or sexual misconduct, you will not be pressured, will not be judged, and you will be treated at all times with respect and the compassion you deserve. He has also pledged that we're going to respect those who come forward to report sexual violence and seek justice against those who perpetrate it. On this, the 20th anniversary of the victim, Virginia Victims' Bill of Rights, we can think of no better way to honor the national victims' rights theme of engaging communities and empowering victims than to start by believing them. Thank you all for your commitment to victims. I guess I'm up. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm delighted to be here today, and let me just first start by recognizing all the elected officials that are here, and if you thought this was not an important issue, uh, then their presence certainly will change your mind. And so I want to recognize Senator Roslyn Dance, <laughs> Delegate Betsy Carr, <laughs> Delegate Dolores McQuinn, <laughs> and our Clerk of the Court, Ed Jewett. And then all of these uh, public safety officials who are here, let's give them a round of applause as well. And of course, Mike Herring and Sheriff Woody. I think we have all of the electeds uh, having been introduced. And so we thank all of the important people. And then everybody here is important, so give yourselves a hand. That's, that's the important thing. And so today, we're here to recognize that uh, when you think of crime, there are those who uh, are perpetrators of crime, but then there are those who are victims. And oftentimes we forget about the victims. Oftentimes we always focus in on closing the, the crime, making sure that the perpetrators have been apprehended, and we forget about the victims. But my mission in life and my mission in public life has been to be an advocate for the offended, the maligned, and the forgotten. And so this is important to me on a very personal basis. I'm pa passionate about making sure that uh, persons who have been victims of crime, especially sexual crimes, are not forgotten, but they are affirmed, and that they have advocates in the community, people who are standing up and fighting for them and making sure that uh, we feel their pain and making sure that we provide the resources that they need to have in order to move forward and not be stuck uh, and maligned by the events in their lives. And so I'm very happy to be a part of this and the city is very happy to be a part of Start By Believing Day and we're going to do a proclamation. Also we would like to encourage the city uh, of Richmond residents to be a part of this campaign and there are several things that are going on. The Victims Rights Forum at the Police Training Academy and the Community Partners Awareness event at the downtown location of the University of Richmond and their table set up here today for us to get information. And so let's start by believing. Let's get out and make sure that Richmond is an affirming uh, community that embraces victims of crime, vic victims of violence and victims of sexual crimes and allow them to know that they are not by themselves. And so with that, if someone will hand me the proclamation. Here it is. I got it. <laughs> So whereas, by, whereas the Start of Believing campaign is a public awareness campaign developed to improve the responses of friends, family members, and community professionals to help victims to access supportive services and to engage the criminal justice system, and research reveals that victims of sexual violence are more likely to disclose their experience with sexual assault to a friend or a family member but sometimes further suffer adversely when those they confide in respond with doubt, shame, or blame. In 2014, the City of Richmond Police Department received a total of 325 calls related to sexual offenses, and the YWCA hotline served the needs of 547 sexual assault victims. We must actively be involved in efforts to prevent sexual assault 
by increasing awareness, education, and community involvement, and promote more supportive attitudes and actions by those who victims seek to confide in. And sexual assault affects the community and citizens must be dedicated in promoting a society where sexual violence and all violence is not tolerated, where victims and survivors are supported and everyone is able to be part of a society where they can live without fear of such atrocities. Now I therefore, Dwight C. Jones, Mayor of the City of Richmond, do hereby proclaim Tuesday, April 21st, 2015 as Start By Believing Day. And I urge all residents of the city to support and to participate in these events. This is the proclamation. Thank you so much. At this time, we're going to ask you to please join us at the tables and let's take the pledge. Thank you. Can I use that? Absolutely. Get in here, Bernoulli. Correct. Right. 